you guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel so today i have february's chicken love mega box to show you do you want to know what's in my box stay tuned Okay, you guys so February 2023 mega box by chicken love just arrived let's go ahead and dive in I literally just got home I had to run over to tractor supply to get some more feed and I got this big old huge block to put in there thinking maybe that'll keep ginger busy because she's my little bully of the of the run so um I just ran over there and I came inside and once they saw me they started screaming and I'm like I have your guys's box in my car let me go ahead and just unbox that really quick so I can get you girls to be quiet <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive in let's hope that there's going to be some treats in here so I can give them to them so they can hush up <laughs> they are so loud right now <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what the oops what the February box brings us. So when we first open it up, they do have their card right here stuck to the top of the lid. It will go over everything that is for you versus the flock. I do like that because it's self-explanatory. What is for you versus for the flock. Then we do have a card on top and then now they are doing this new scratcher. Every single month there's new prizes and three lucky winners will win one of those prizes. So this month it says scratch and win February 2023. First place is a canvas handbag. Second place is a rooster cell phone bag. Third place is a rooster change purse. So let's go ahead and scratch away and better luck next time. Womp womp. <laughs> well, congratulations to the three lucky people out there this month that will be winning some products. And then on here is a paper and it says, hey, chicken ladies, this month marks the beginning of three years for chicken love. Oh, congratulations. Happy third birthday. <laughs> and honestly, this time has flown by. Thank you also very much for your business and support and emails. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Putting this box of happiness together for you is a pleasure. To celebrate beginning of three years, we are once again giving back to a donation for the Adopt a Bird Network. This group's sole purpose is finding homes for chickens who have been displaced and have literally no one or nowhere to go. How sad. So a portion of this month's renewals and new orders will be set aside for ABN. They are so appreciative too. Check them out on Instagram at Adopt a Bird Network. The magnet of the month is my favorite breed, which I don't want to get into because I want to see what it is. So yeah, so happy third birthday to Chicken Love. Now, when we remove the tissue paper, there's a sneak peek to inside of the box. So with this box, there's three different levels. They have a shirt only, they have a small box, and then they have the mega box, like I get. Each one has a shirt. So either the shirt only, the small box, or the large box will all have the same shirt. And the shirt sizes are from small all the way to 3XL. So this month, uh. Okay, I'm gonna say I'm a little disappointed that it's another quarter sleeve shirt. Like it is almost 90 degrees here in Florida. Why are we still in quarter length shirts? Nah, uh, uh, it's actually a long sleeve, you guys. If it was a quarter sleeve, it would have only gone to my elbow. But the long sleeves, I'm already, I'm already getting hot just putting it on for the photo. So, it's a long sleeve though. So I have two long sleeves, four quarter sleeve and only three short sleeve out of nine consecutive boxes but it's definitely a long sleeve this is what it looks like it says chicken mama with like a gnome and then there's two chickens it so there's the shirt so we do have a treat right on top for the girls it's black fly soldier larvae it's actually from chicken love it has their logo on there so i guess they're making their own products now so there's this one. It says black soldier fly larvae. Okay, the tiny bag of grubs were just not enough. Maybe if you have one chicken, we've added more grubs in your box. So give those babies a treat. They don't have to chase around. We mix grubs right into our regular layer feed and save some to mix into scratch grains at for snack time. Um, 
I don't mix anything in my food other than their food because it's solely just their food and then anything else goes on their treat table. So I will go ahead and feed this to them. Again, they're already screaming at me, so I know they're definitely ready and willing to eat some treats. These they actually really, really love. So there's that. Okay, so that must be what they were talking about, that the other bag was just too small of a treat. So this was in there as well. It's calcium rich worms, black soldier fly larvae. Oh, so there's even more of them. It would have been nice if like they sent mealworms or something. So you had two different types of treats, not the same treat in the bag, but you have two different bags of fly larvae. I don't even see this one listed. So I'm not sure, but I don't see this one even listed on the paper, but it's from Exotic Nutrition pet supply company so there's that now we have is a sticker sheet that is actually really cute it's from paper house and it has these chickens and roosters on it this is for us it says what will the chicken lady do with chicken stickers have fun with them that's what add to your planner your journal notes list and show your chicken crazy they did even give us some really cool um, greeting cards that had a chicken on them. So even if you wanted to seal the envelope with one of these, you could. I think I might do that for the remainders that I have. That's really neat. But I do collect stickers all the time. So I'm, I'm all for stickers. <laughs> Now let's get into the monthly magnet. So apparently last month we learned that now they're going to be doing a magnet every single month. So let's go ahead and dive into the second now monthly magnet. It says silver laced and I don't really know how to say the name of it. It looks like it looks like the font got cut off a little bit like it should have been maybe brought down a hair. But that is see the top. It looks like it got cut off the top of it. <laughs> Like it didn't get printed correctly, but that is by Chicken Love. That's a pretty design. I love the butterfly on there. And it shows the difference between a rooster and a hen for that particular breed. So I'm going to stick that on my refrigerator next to last month's magnet. Now we have is a kitchen timer abs egg. There's that. This has got to be for us. It says egg timer. This is a mechanical egg timer. Read the instructions. BC, it requires special setup. Is that just short for because? I don't do the shorthand. So BC, it requires special setup. And man, was it too complicated for me. I hope you figure it out and send us a video of how it sounds. I think turning 60 in January ate up some of my brain cells, laugh out loud. Or maybe my chickens have used up all my brain capacity. I'm sure you ladies are smart enough to get it to work. Anyway, I think it's pretty regardless. I actually purchased an egg timer. Like, I think it's an OXO brand. And I really, really like that one. So, I will see if maybe my um, friend wants this. No, because I bought her one of those too. So, I don't know what I'll do with this one. But I already have an egg timer but I'll show you what it looks like. It looks almost like it's like plastic. I don't know how it takes like instruction. Where is even the instructions? She said it take, you have to read the instructions and I don't even have <laughs> instructions inside of mine. This little tiny card here does not have instructions. It's just like the item number that's on the side of the box right here. So um, she must have got instructions that she got it confused with, but I don't have instructions to even read. So I don't know. I don't know. To me, it just looks like you just set the timer and let it sit until it's done. So I don't, I don't know. It just looks like a standard timer to me. The one that I have, you literally get to tell it like what size egg you have, how done you want your egg to be. It even has a little piercer so you can pierce the egg. So that one I'm definitely going to be using instead of this one. But there is an egg, an egg timer. Now we have, it says exotic nutrition. So maybe this smaller bag was supposed to go with this. That's why they gave the bigger bag. It says small animal play toy. Encourage mental stimulation. And that's what it looks like. But if you have larger things, you can just stick it inside of here. Toss it out there and I guess let them peck at it. We'll see. Rolling toy. 
Okay, we need to see this in action. Fill with worms or cracked corn and place it in the run. Which bird will be the first to give it a peck? It probably won't do well in mud, so you may have to save it for a sunshiny day. Nothing but mud here for a few days. I don't ever have mud here. <laughs> so I can use this any time of the year. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with the smaller bag just to kill this bag off first, cause it's smaller. I'm gonna give them this before I give them the actual treats to see if they'll get the hang of this. Okay, so now it is nice and full. Let's go ahead and give it to him. Hey, Vienna. I have to show you. Look, come here. Look. You see the things coming out? To the holes? You gotta peck in the holes. <sighs> You're so chicken. There you go. Get a girl. Get a girl. Okay, so I did find this completely empty a couple hours later, so they must have got the hang of it at some point. So I just filled it up. And Ginger is getting all loud because the other two are in there trying to do their business. So let's just let's just see if she was one of the ones that figured it out. See your little bare booty. <laughs> it's starting to grow back. Can't wait for that to finish growing back in. <laughs> so now that'll actually keep her busy while the other two are trying to do their business. Nice. One's waiting in line. <laughs> and even though she's been moving it around a lot, that's still pretty full. Easy. <laughs> See, it's still pretty full. Next we have is another treat for the girls. It says a forage cake. This one says farmer's helper forage cake. Afternoon snacks keep your chickens staying warm on the roost during cold weather. Place this healthy snack in a feeder off the ground and watch them peck away. I just bought a huge when I said I had to get a big old block. It's kind of like this. It's like, but it's it's a big block, bigger than my head. It's a big, heavy 
block and it was only like $13. I didn't want to buy it online because they were going to charge me like 20 something for delivery. So I just drove down there and got it myself. Plus I needed more food anyway. So it worked out, but I got that big, huge block. I was like, dang, it's heavy. <laughs> so right now I'm going to go ahead and just stick this like block on their treat table first. And then I'll put down some of these black soldier fly larvae. So let's go ahead and give them this block. So I opened it right here and all the little tiny stuff kind of fell and that's what they're eating right now. But let's go ahead and just stick the whole thing here and see what they do. <laughs> Get it. Back, 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 back. So pack it. Pack, pack, pack. You guys are so chicken. Here. You gotta peck at it. Look. Let's go ahead and give them some of this. Because these, I know they love there you go baby was that good yeah all right <laughs> so i came in here to give them some cucumber before i went to work and this block is is still here i don't think they really like this one very much they haven't really picked at it where like this big old thing over here that I put um, after the fact, they're already devouring like a whole corner chunk and everything out of it. So they're pecking at it. So they know what to do. It's just for some reason, they're not too fond of this one because it's still sitting here. So far, it's been a week and it's just sitting just like that. Another week has passed and still no change. So I'm gonna stick it for the wild birds. Okay, so I stuck it over here in the wild bird feeder. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I had this sit here for three days now and um, it doesn't look like the frequent squirrels or the wild birds have interest in it thus far. So I'm hoping they will. But yeah, I, um, yeah, that's the current status. <laughs> now we have is Possibilities. It says organic farm pasta chicken cow and pig shaped pastas okay so it's not just chicken there's chickens cows and pigs that are different shaped pasta several months ago they did one that was like a chicken noodle soup and that had like the seasoning packet and everything all i did was add shredded chicken to it and it was so so good so this would be for us, obviously. It says, Pastabilities Organic Farm Pasta. Okay, this is just for fun. From the same folks that brought us the chicken-shaped chicken noodle soup last year, enjoy this farm animal-shaped pasta. Add your favorite cheese or just some butter, salt, and pepper. Should be a nice warm addition to any meal. See who gets the most chickens in their pasta flock? I guess it's from the same brand who did the chicken noodle soup that I was just mentioning that I really, really loved. Okay, so let's get to cooking. I'm going to go ahead and prepare my ingredients, getting my water nice and hot so I can add in the pasta. Starting my sauce on the side, added in some fresh spinach, stirred it all together, added in some chicken. Ooh, this looks amazing. And now this is nice and ready. I have my toast going on the side. Here's what it looks like, nice and ready. Let's drain this bad boy. I always add olive oil to the mix, and now it's time to plate. And 
And not to pat myself on the back, <laughs> pat pat, but this was actually pretty amazing. So there's that. And then there's one item left. Do we have another trivet? What in the world? Okay, so this is like the third trivet <laughs> that we've received. This is going to be the nicest one in my opinion because it is metal. The last one was like a crocheted thing. And then several boxes back was one that I have on my counter currently. And that's one that's been there. I might now replace that one with this one because this one does have the little feet so it won't move. Okay, so this is the one that I got originally. This is the first trivet that I got. And I actually really like it. It matches like the colors in my kitchen. So this has just been sitting here. If I have anything on the stove that I want to set over, it's just perfect because it's just right here out of the way. And again, it matches. I'm excited to put this one here because of the fact that it has the feet where this one does kind of move and it turns a little bit. So I'm going to stick this one here now and I'll use it in the same manner, but at least now it's not going to slide or move. It's going to stay put. And then this one here, I really, really like it. So what I thought I'll do is just stick it underneath this. You won't really see the chickens, but I know it's there. And then if I need to set anything over here, it's right there. I can just take it from underneath and set it down. This we actually got in another box. This is by Chicken Love. And these I purchased from their website, the little salt and pepper shakers. But yeah, so I think that looks so much better. At least it's now underneath. It's, yeah, perfect. And it says red cast iron trivet. Fall in love with this beautiful red trivet. Highly functional, but oh so lovely. Enjoy, enjoy. This is my favorite one thus far. I'm just a little confused on like why every so many boxes we're getting a trivet because I only have one kitchen. So I only need like one or two. I don't need like three or four or five. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> but that is now everything for the February box. You have this cast iron trivet. You have this cake for the girls. You have this, you have an egg timer, you have this right here, you have the monthly magnet, the stickers, you have some extra grubs, you have some pasta, and then you have the shirt. All right, you guys, so now that is everything for the February box. Comment down below and let me know what did you think of the box. This is my last box now. <laughs> Comment down below and let me know, do you guys want to continue to see this? Because if so, I'm going to have to wait until we're like dead ass in the middle of summer to reorder because I do not want any more of these shirts that are just going to hang in my closet that I'm never going to wear because now I already have six of them. So... There's that. So again, comment down below and let me know what you thought. If you want me to continue at some point in the summer <laughs> or what, let me know. If you want some more information about this box, I will let you know right about now. They did generate my own code. If you wanted to save $5 off your very first box, you can use my code SHECRAFTY. They will be linked down below. That'll take you over to their site if you would like to check them out. They also have an online shop. I've actually purchased several things on their online shop. You don't have to have a subscription to purchase there. They have individual items. There's books. There's resources. There's all kinds of things if you wanted to check that out. But if you are interested in the subscription, again, there's three different ones. If you do the mega box like I get, it is $79 per month. Three months brings it down to $78. Six months brings it down to $77, and a 12-month plan will also bring it to $77. It includes all products of the month for you and your flock, seven to nine items, plus the t-shirt of the month. The mega box is the favorite of our subscribers and the best of the value. Then you can do the mini box. So if you don't want to go into this large box, but you want to dabble in a little bit, you can go to the mini box. That one is $49 month per month, 48 for three months, 47 for six and 12 months. That one will include one featured item of the month for your flock and for you, plus the t-shirt of the month. So you'll get the shirt and one item for the flock and one item for yourself in that box. Or you can do the Happy Hen t-shirt club. If you wanna just grab the shirt, that's $33 per month, 32 for three months, 31 for six and 12 months. And again, it is extra small to 3XL and it's free shipping. So it is free shipping. These boxes are pretty heavy, 
free shipping is included in all of those prices. And yeah, so they will all be linked down below. And again, She Crafty will get you that $5 off your very first box if you are interested in signing up. So definitely comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. Your positive interaction means the world and I greatly do appreciate it as I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. So until next time, you know that drill. Keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Crafty Crew, out.